Welcome back. No big secret, the prices of streaming subscriptions are going up and up. Most recently, it was Netflix. They got a new pricing model. Here we go again. Yet, still more and more Americans are cutting the cord. And my Disney Plus went up. The whole goal was to cut costs, but does switching to streaming really help you save money? Our Keith Russell adds it up. So, how do you watch TV? Let's be honest, a lot of us are streaming, including yours truly, and not going back to regular cable. For many, these big remotes, they're a thing of the past. And so are those big bills. So let me tell you how you can cut the cord and the cost. First, get a standalone internet service, not bundled. Like, for instance, my internet at AT&T UVerse is around $80 a month. Then you go and buy a streaming device like a Roku. One time cost for each one you plug into the back of your TV and build your TV package from there. So for $30 to $35, one time fee for each TV, you can just buy a Roku and download all the free apps like the CBS News app and Pluto TV. And at that point, all you need is internet. And in case you didn't already know, you can stream our CBS News Texas newscast with both those services. There's also free music, entertainment, and movie apps as well. So you're not even paying a monthly TV bill. If you like all the subscription apps like Paramount Plus, HBO Max, Showtime, Apple TV Plus, and Stars, just to name a few, they'll all cost you a few bucks a month. Keep in mind, it can make your overall bill costly, sometimes even more than cable, if you have a lot of them. But sometimes the apps are also bundled. They're bundled together for a lower price. Another thing to keep in mind, a lot of streaming services offer free or discounted trial periods. So, if there's just one show you want to watch on a certain platform, it may be worth signing up for a trial period. Binge that show, then cancel before you get charged. If you're like, I don't want cable, I don't want to stream, but I need my local channels. Hey, you need to be all ears for this one, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and buy yourself a high-def antenna for around 35 bucks. Another one-time cost for each TV. And now you get all your local channels and many more, and you can still watch TV even if your internet goes out and you're not paying a monthly TV bill. Here's another tip. Get a library card. It's not just for books anymore. Public libraries have thousands of movies you can check out for free. Long story short, streaming could actually end up costing you more than a cable subscription if you have to have all the newest, latest, and greatest apps at the same time. But if you play your cards right, you could literally have TV for free. I'm Keith Russell, as always, helping you save dollars, especially when it makes sense. No matter how you watch us, as long as you don't do this. Ooh. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that.